Hey guys, it's Mystery Monday. So I have three of these animator collection Disney pins to open with you, as well as a shop Disney bag that I can't remember what I ordered. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into this. I'm gonna start with the shop Disney bag because I know it's limited edition pins, but I don't remember which ones. I know that's bad. <laughs> but they've been so far behind in shipping them that I can't remember which ones this should be. So, something fun. <laughs> I slid at the top and unlike last time they did put it in just a plain mailer. I don't know that this is, the box probably protects them better because I don't feel like they were wrapped in anything in here. But let's see, there's my packing slip. And then, oh they did wrap them in tissue paper. How nice is that? So they are trying. I give them credit for trying. So I think there's only two pins in here. There they are. Oh, it's the Ariel pins. I was able to snag two of these because I want one for me and one to trade with. So I have two of them. So this one will be going in my traders and this one will go on my wall. And I'm gonna give you a closer look here. All right, here. let's take a closer look at this Ariel cereal box pen. At the top here, it does say loaded with who's it's and what's it's galore, which is kind of cute. You have flounder and then over here, it says a surprise in every box. The cereal is called thingamabobs with the eye in things being a fork in honor of Ariel's thingamabob. And here we have Ariel, of course. Down here, we actually have with the calories and all of that down here that is at the bottom of the box is the opening date of The Little Mermaid because that was November 13th of 1989, which is really cool. This little print took me a minute to decipher because those letters, I don't know if you can tell, are all kind of bleeding together. But this is what I've pieced, pieced together here, is that top line says no gizmos or gadgets. The second line is 20 thingamabob box. And the third line says 16 essential vitamins out of the water which is kind of cute. I love the look of this pen. And then you open it up and there you have the cereal. I think this is really faded, so I'm not sure how I feel about the inside actually of this box. And of course, our prize in our box is a little dangle fork, which is cute. And then over here you have your puzzle and it says down there at the bottom, how many thingamabobs can you find? Which is kind of cute. But overall, love this pen. Definitely gonna add it to my collection, like I said, and I do have a second one that I will be using as a trader. Okay, on to our mystery boxes. I have three of these, as I said. They are the Animators Collection Series 2 pins and they are really really cute. There are six pins in total in this collection. Series one also had six pins. They are toted as open edition pins but they did sell out rather quickly on Shop Disney. I don't know that they'll be restocking them so I think they're more of a limited release even though they do say open edition. So series one included Pocahontas, Ariel, Tiana, Cinderella, Belle, and Moana. All right, now here's series two. We have Snow White, we have Rapunzel, we have, I believe, Mulan is supposed to be here. This one I can tell is gonna be Tinkerbell. We have Jasmine and Aurora. These pens have been really popular. I believe they are selling on eBay for about $20 a pen and 
They sold from Shop Disney in the US for about $10. There is one pin per box and they are blind bags. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and we'll see what we got. So there's our blind bag. Just pull it out and I think I'm gonna grab my scissors. And let's just snip into that and see what we got. It's Jasmine. She is super sweet. I was hoping to get Rapunzel and Tinkerbell, but Jasmine is super sweet as well. These pens are very textural. You can definitely, they're like almost sculpted in nature and show the princesses in this cute younger form, much like the dolls that they are named after. So on to box two, we'll just slit the top here and open her up. Again, snip the top. I always wanna open them traditionally, like by just poking them out, but I am never very good at this. Oh, that one's definitely a round one. Oh, this is super sweet. Yeah, I definitely like the Mulan one. I love these flowers coming up the side. I wanted to say those are roses, but they are not. And you can really tell just how far out the doll element comes and this background is amazingly pretty. Let's see if I can really show it off. But it's just got this soft Asian print in the background. Absolutely gorgeous pin. Very good size. On the back, there is no hidden Mickey stamps here, or Mickey stamp. Two pin post. So you have your pin trading logo up here. You have your Disney logo and your copyright Disney there. Very nice pin. So let's see if we can get Tinkerbell for this last one. Otherwise, I'll probably trade for her. I don't know that this is a set I will try and complete just because it is so expensive to try and get any of these pens now. If I could trade for them, I will. I'd probably like to trade for, oh, I don't think this is Tinkerbell, um, for Tinkerbell and for Belle. I love Ariel as well, but see here. Who do we have? Oh, we do have Tinkerbell. Oh, look at how adorable she is. Super, super sweet. I love that she's on this little thimble. No, it's not a thimble. <laughs> Spool of thread there with a little button. Just super, super cute. Let me zoom in so you can get a better look at her. She seems much smaller than the other pins just because they are more substantial than she is, but I love the detail they've put into her, her little shoes and everything. Just a super sweet pen. So cool. So there are my three Disney animator pins that I just pulled out. Very sweet pens. Tinkerbell is by far my favorite. I might try and trade these two to get Ariel and Belle, but we'll see. I might still keep Mulan because this is such a gorgeous pun pin. Jasmine is also very cute, but she doesn't call to me the way this pen does. All right, so that's all for today and I'll see you guys next time.